for all the things that you've done for me. Things so undeserved. Put you on my, on my amen, program. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Today in the precious, precious, amen, name of Jesus. Amen. We give God the honor. We give him the glory. Amen. And we definitely worship. Amen. And we praise his holy, his holy name. Amen. Today, amen. I just wanted to come before you and just do a little talking. I know uh, we have not, amen, been on, but pretty much we've been reconstructing, amen, some things to better, amen, ourselves, amen, uh, also in the gospel. Amen. Again, I thank God for each of you. I thank God for each of your prayers. Those of you that pray with me, pray for me. And those of you that stand with me in this hour. Amen. Coming up on next week. Amen. I believe that is um, actually going to be, <coughs> excuse me, on Sunday, which is March the 26th. Amen. We are getting ready. Amen. Just to move and go forward in the gospel amen leaders from all over the u.s amen we are joining together and we are running services uh, social media whatever you want to call it seven nights a week <clears throat> amen first of all i just want to acknowledge amen a mother i heard amen a woman of god amen um was killed by her amen her relative amen um her grandson amen it's all over the news amen and and what i want to say which i know that she's gone on amen and have peace there's no more worry no more dying no more sickness and i understand amen also that she was bedridden saints of god it it is sad that we are not doing the things that we supposed to be doing we've gotten so modernized amen with the world we've forgotten amen what jesus did amen jesus visited the sick amen jesus amen fed the hungry jesus clothed the naked jesus amen walked the streets and if we are christ-like amen we are supposed to be doing the same thing amen that jesus christ supposed to be amen our lord and our Savior but we have gotten amen up into titles and up into a piece of paper up into amen recognition up into what the stargazers amen what the limelight amen want to be seen want to be heard amen what favoritism amen want to be amen recognized but these are the things amen god forbid on amen god is looking for a people that is going to be humble that is going to go out in the street amen i would again i'm a, i love to talk about myself i would not be where i am today glory to god if it wasn't for some mothers some evangelists that was coming to my home and were having prayer and that home binding every spirit breaking every yoke by the spirit of God that was in my life and in my home. Amen. And it got to the point that I was looking and waiting for those saints of God. Amen. To come and to check on me. We so we're busy. We're busy in church. We're busy in robes. Amen. We're busy in what color we supposed to wear. We're busy. Amen. Selling fish, selling chicken. Amen. Collard greens and, and all these sorts of things that is unnecessary that does not profit. Amen. The kingdom of God. Amen. We're busy in competition. Amen. Pentecostal, the apostolic faith. Amen. Won't fellowship with holiness and holiness. Amen. It's not fellowshipping with Baptist and Baptist. Amen. It's not fellowshipping with Catholic. But there is only one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. Glory to God. And I just thank God. But there are real people that have a heart. For souls, our job is to build the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Not so much as the building, as the church. Amen. And you can't pay people to come to church. 
Amen. But some of us doing it. Amen. I, I know that there are some leaders. Amen. That's paying people. Amen. To come to church. Paying them to play the drum. Playing them. Amen. To need the choir. Amen. So they can stay in the church. Amen. Regardless of how raggedy and shaky their life is. It doesn't matter as long as there is a body. Amen. That's inside that building. And not even caring where the soul is going. Not being. Amen. That shepherd that is on the wall. Oh, glory to God. Listen. Listen. These are not my sayings. These are not my orders. We must get back to the basics. We must get back in the street. But I know the main problem is there is no love. Where is the love that God supposed to have given to you to go and spread that love? God is not a selfish God. Glory to God. Listen. We must reap the harvest while it is yet harvest time. Now, I want to share something. This is a young man, amen, and, and I'm going to, amen, let him say some things, amen. I just happened, amen, to go to the store early in the morning, just drop my babies off, amen, and um, I do have babies, amen. I thank God for them. I have a five-year-old and a two-year-old, amen. They keep me busy. They keep me up on my toes, amen, and and sickness hit them, amen, so we have to pray and, amen, just go through our routine of just, amen, trusting God, amen, until that, amen, healing breakthrough comes forth, but I want to share about this young man uh, right now, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna play this real quickly, amen, and I want you to pray for this young man, glory well, we to God. We thank God today, amen, for this young man, amen, he, what, what's your name again? My name is Truman Morrell. Okay, and this young man has just received the Lord in his life, and we believe in God to do a miraculous healing, and I want you all to pray for him, for he is blind, he's losing his sight. So we're going to pray for him, and we're going to lift him up in the precious name of Jesus. Amen, and God bless you, and I'll be checking on you now, okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and put you on. Amen, God, God bless. What I want to say, this young man, uh, he hangs out. He's on Sutel, Amen, and US One. Um, he hangs to a store. He stands out there, uh, which is by uh, Popeye's Chicken, Amen. I need some brothers, Amen. That's gonna go, Amen, and check on this young man, Amen. And I, I not don't get him if you finna put him to work to sell some chicken. And, and and have a bake sale and a cake sale and a rummy sale, amen, don't even get him because you're going to make him a child of hell rather than you make him a child of God. And I'm just being real. But I need somebody, I need a saved brother, a preacher, pastor, or somebody to go and get this young man and nurture him and bring him up into the ammunition of the Lord. See, that's what I'm saying. It's not about the building, but it's about the kingdom of God. This is a soul that has just gotten saved and he needs to be nurtured. Glory to God. Listen, and again, he uh, 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 hangs out, amen, uh, to a store. There's a little laundromat right across the street from there uh, where he stands out, amen. And I, I do, and I pray that, that God send somebody, amen, with him that will take him and nurture him up into, amen, the word of God, amen. Sowing to give him more seeds, give him more of the word of God, not sowing no seed, not, I mean money, not asking for no money because that has nothing to do with the kingdom of God, amen. But the seed is the word of God. So this young man, amen, he wants, he wanted to be saved. He wanted to change his life. He wanted to make a difference. He wanted to be different. 
He got tired of being tired and he received Jesus Christ as his Lord and his personal Savior and he repented. Amen. So therefore, I need somebody else to come and plant, but God is going to, amen, give the increase. And I truly thank God, amen, for that. And I'm not going to be before you long. I just wanted to come and just talk, amen. Um, and again, like I said on Sunday, Amen. God bless. I believe that's going to be on the 26th. Amen. I even have leaders. Amen. That's over in other countries. Amen. Um, that will be joining and they, this thing is going to go on seven nights a week. So look out for this Facebook live. Amen. The voice of one crying out in the wilderness and every night. Amen. They're going to be a prophet. They're going to be prophetess. There's going to be bishop. They're going to be pastor. Amen. There's going to be evangelist listen, they're going to be bringing forth, amen, the word of God. And I also will be providing you with their address, the city and state, and even a phone number, amen, where you can uh, reach out for a for prayer or for counseling. Amen. We got to get this saying it is time for us to come together as one. Amen. If we not, amen, I'm going to tell you what's going on. Most of us right now is on a wheelchair. Amen. Getting ready to wheel our way to hell. If we don't get right with God, if we don't get right and repent and come back to our first love and get right with God, listen here, somebody. Come on. I didn't come to preach. Amen. But it's time. To get right. Jesus is almost here. And even if Jesus ain't coming, you and I get ready to leave here. You don't know. You can walk outside and stomp your toe on a rock and fall dead right there. You just don't know. Amen. You could get in your car to drive and have a heart attack. Amen. You can't time yourself and watch yourself. Amen. I don't care how healthy you eat. When it's time for you to go, you leave in here. You can eat spinach. You can stop eating meat. I don't care what you do. When it's time for you to go, you're going to leave this earth and you're going to walk into the presence of somewhere. Amen. If it ain't heaven, then you going to hell. Amen. Come on here, somebody. Now listen. We just thank God and I just want to share Amen in Pakistan. I thank God for, Amen, this uh, message here. Amen. We were in Pakistan and we were having services and I'm going to play a little bit of that. Amen. Amen. We having a little okay, problem. I'm gonna. Amen. We're gonna go back and and go through that again. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. God bless you. Amen. 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 This amen. is amen. amen. I'm gonna stop right here. Um, this is Pastor Nadim Rasti. Amen. Um, God has blessed where. Amen. Um, Horizon Ministries, amen, is over in Pakistan. I thank God for them, for they love for God. I mean, this, 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 amen, this man of God here, I mean, stays, stays going, amen, and takes a team with him and they go into villages and they feed the hungry. Amen. And they take in those, amen, that does not have a place to stay that are homeless. Amen. And they're constantly traveling, amen, throughout different villages, amen, preaching the gospel. And I get a report daily, amen, that souls have just turned their lives over to God and they have made Jesus Christ their Lord and personal Savior. Glory to God. I can't hear you. Amen. And we, we had some technical issue, but amen, that's all right. We, we uh, see the vision. We see what's, what uh, God has it? going on. Amen. And amen. And I just want to share, amen, a little of the other service, amen, um, that uh, took place, amen, um, over there, amen, in Pakistan, how they were, amen, just getting ready, amen, just to... Amen. Praise God and, and give God the glory. Just give God the honor. 
amen, and just uplifting, amen, the name of Jesus, amen. They are just, amen, praising God. And this is not anybody, amen, off a magazine or off some show, amen. These are live people that is over in Toba, Tech, Pakistan, amen. Look at the people. Look how they're coming in, amen. They're getting saved and they're worshiping, amen, the, our Lord and our Savior, amen, Jesus Christ. So I just want to, amen, just thank God for them, amen, for their love and Amen. Uh, their commitment, amen, to God. And this is what it's time to do, saints of God. It's time for us, amen, to come out of our shell. It's time that we get right with God. It's time for us to reach out for souls that are out there in the air, in the street, in the corners. In houses abandoned on the cars, wherever they may be, it's time for us to reap the harvest and to get the love that we had from the beginning. Most of us has gotten comfortable. We cursing, we cursing like a sailor and have no fear. You have no fear. You're behind the closet and you're having sex with a man that's not your husband and doing all kind of unnatural acts. And most, that's why you can't get a man and that's why a man can't, amen, get a real woman because you're looking in all the wrong places. Amen. It's time to pray and fast. And seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all things shall be added unto thee. When we seek him first, if we turn from our wicked ways, saith God, he will heal our land. Glory to God. He will heal that mind. Amen. He will heal that family. Amen. He will heal every sickness and every disease when we get right with God. Amen. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Glory. Listen, it's time. It's time to put away the foolishness. And it's time to get right with God. Listen, God bless you. And I truly love you in the precious name of Jesus. And don't forget, amen, join in starting Sunday at 7 p.m. every night. Sunday through Sunday, we come in with the word of God because I can't do this by myself. Amen. You can't, you either, you can't do it by yourself. You can't, I know some of us have the desire that we want the whole world, but it ain't going to happen and it's not going to work because there are many members, amen, but one body and all members of the body does not do the same thing. Now, I can't do what the hand do and the hand can't do what the feet do. Amen. There is every part of a body that belongs to Christ Jesus. This is why we are different members, part of the body of Christ, because we are one. We must come together. We have to come together in order to win this war, to win this battle. And we shall win. We shall, amen, step on the devil's head. And we won't tell him he's a liar. Amen. We will begin to show him that he's a liar because there's unity in Jesus Christ. There's unity in faith. There's it's unity when we trust God. It's unity when we live right. It's unity when we join hands and be on one accord and let not bitterness and let not evil tongue speak against each other like we don't even know each other, but we're all part of the body of Christ. Glory to God. We're all part of the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Hands. I need a hand. I need an eye. I need a leg. Glory to God. I need a mouth. I need a tongue. Glory to God. I need some air to get out here and do something so that we can win this war. Glory to God. And you talking about a move of God. I believe that God will even raise the dead. 
I don't want to hear nothing about that that was back in the old days. Amen. Because God is the same today, yesterday, and will be. Amen. Glory to God forevermore. And I believe, amen, that we will see, amen, people that's coming from everywhere because we, as the saints of God, will be out there as one and we will be defending our God. We will be recognizing our God. We will not let anything come in between, amen, us and our God. We will show Babylon who is our God. We'll show Krishna, amen, who is our God. Amen. We'll show the Buddhists who is our God. Amen. And we will begin amen to show the Muhammad Elijah who is the real God. Amen. We'll be able to go and we'll tell somebody amen that the psychic is not your God. Amen. But it's the living God. The only God. There is none like him. There's none beside him. There'll never be none like unto him. He's Alpha and Omega. He's the beginning and the end. He's the first and the last. He's the wheel in the middle of the wheel. He controls everything all over this world. Glory to God. Glory to God. Listen, I got to stop. I got to stop. I got to stop. <coughs> Glory. I got to stop. Glory to God. Listen, it's time. It's time to get right with God. And let us get out of here and win this war. Let's get out of here and take this thing by force and snatch souls out of the fire. Glory to God. Glory, 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 glory to God. Amen. But I can't leave right now. Somebody, somewhere, right now, under the sound of my voice. You know God is calling you. There is so many signs that you see. There is so many signs that God is showing you. That it's time to get right with God. It's time to stop playing the fiddle. Or you going to end up leaving here. And it's just going to be too late. And I wanna, I'm gonna share this. There's no time. Listen, when a person goes to hell, that is the only time do you know that God is really not going to hear nothing you have to say. Anything you say, he gonna bring it back on you, but he not gonna have mercy and there will be no grace because you're in hell. Now is the time. To get right. While breath is still. Amen. In our bodies. This is the time for us to get right with God. Listen. Jesus loves us. And there's nothing in this world that he will not do. If we only come to him. Saints of God. It's time to put away the bitterness. The eagerness. The frustration. The devastation. The backbiting, the whispering, the who you think is right and who is not right. Who are you? You're not God. And you're the main one that's not right. Because you complain all the time. Instead of shutting up your mouth and humbling yourself and get right with God. So that, yeah, God want to use your mouth, but not to be a babbler and a bibbler. Amen. But to preach the unadulterated gospel. Listen, God bless you. And I love you. I, I just went on. I was so excited. Amen. I was just talking. But Father, I just thank you for the day, God. I thank you for your word. Oh, Father, right now in the name of Jesus, God, every heart, every ear that listen, that's under the sound of my voice. God, I pray that you move upon them and that you move upon their lives. God, most of all, that you will touch every leader every leader throughout this world throughout even other countries china wherever wherever they may be god that we do come together as one in jesus name amen amen and amen glory to god listen i'm i'm gonna say this here and and then i'm gonna close listen 
every day, pretty much, the world is making movies about the end of times. They got one called The Four Horsemen. That's about Revelation. And then they also have one, The End of Times. Listen, even the world know that this all is coming to an end at some point, at some time, one day is coming. Jesus is coming and the rapture is going to take place. Amen. Now, those that are left behind, I'm not saying that you will not have a chance, but you're going to have to prove your love to God. That if you love him, are you willing to die for him? Or will you be willing to take the mark of a man, which is the 666, the beast, the number? Because no man at that particular time will be able to buy, sell, or trade. And every day, if you look at it, this is going on in the world today. And we busy being blind because Satan has blinded our eyes where we can't see or we can't remember what Jesus has said. We also know that there is not one word in that Bible that shall never pass away. Everything else will go, but not his word. Listen. God is calling for real people today. Real people. And, and again, God bless you and I love you. And I thank God for you in this hour. And let the grace of God be bestowed upon you hereafter. God bless you. Amen. Glory to God.